<clears throat> what the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and today we are doing a live reaction on One Piece, chapter 841. Uh, if we recall last chapter, Sanji found out about the Germa 66 clone soldiers, uh, and in a flashback, you end up finding out that Sanji and all his siblings uh, have been imbued with uh, latent abilities. Um, that will not manifest themselves until, you know, they train hard enough or do whatever the case is, natural talent, all that stuff. Um, pretty much it's exposed that Sanji was not able to keep up with his siblings. None of those latent abilities were able to show themselves. And so his father, extremely disappointed, makes it seem like Sanji, Sanji is killed and um, locks him into a tower with an iron mask, which is a very uh, homage to The Man in the Iron Mask, a part of the Three Musketeers series. Uh, if you haven't seen that, there's a movie called The Man in the Iron Mask with Leonardo DiCaprio uh, and some other fine actors in it. John Malkovich, I believe. Anyway, uh, chapter 841, To the East Blue. Let's find out more about this, um, this backstory. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be the chapter that links Sanji in getting into East Blue. Uh, so, uh, front cover is a picture of Whitebeard with goats eating his mustache, which is very odd. And fan requests, some goats munch on Whitebeard's white beard. <laughs> That's very odd. Okay, so color art, who cares? All right, here we go. I wonder where that guy keeps carrying those fancy meals off to every day. Beats me. The truth hides behind his iron mask. Well, so uh, I wonder who they're fe So, are they feeding... Sanji with fancy food? That's interesting. Uh, yep, so the guy takes off the um, cloth that's covering this nice meal and puts it on a little uh, little opening and leaves it there six months since Sanji's imprisonment. So Sanji's just sitting there and there's the cooks. We haven't even had any guests recently. Quit overthinking it. Our one job and only job is to follow the king's order. Yes sir, so it's all the chefs and the cooks inside of the kitchen um, creating food and whatnot, and they're probably just curious, why are we making food for no guests that are here? But maybe they're hiding some kind of VIP refugee in this castle. I'm putting big money, I'm putting my money on it being the king's new mistress. Oh yeah, have you heard that one of the guards had heard some piercing shrieks coming from the dungeon? Cut it out, all of you! And so it looks like they're taking off, well, they're not even removing the, um, the helmet all they're doing is removing the jaw part down so he can actually eat and so Sanji's eating while two guards are watching him inside of his cell and then you just hear yeah yeah oh, okay so he can actually hear the sounds of his brother still fighting outside uh, judge is watching as uh, uh, Ichiji uh, flips over a full-grown man slams him on the ground and the doctor is like, such magnificent skills. Calling these children superhumans doesn't do them justice. And Judge is like, ha ha ha, you make me proud, children. Father, father, I love you all more than anything. And he's all squeezing them and hugging them. And Sanji, goddamn, poor Sanji, just eating alone in the cell. This is, guarantee you a lot of people are crying um, over this chapter and last chapter. Uh, he's just eating and he's got like, He's not thinking about much. This just goes back to a flashback of his cutting his finger by mistake and going, Owie! Good heavens, Lord Sanji. You must leave at once. Was my cat going crazy? Uh, good heavens, Lord Sanji. You must leave at once. This is not a place a royal should be spending time in. Us. So this is when he was in the, in the uh, kitchen and he accidentally cut himself. He's still eating, and I guarantee you in the next panel he's going to be crying because he's thinking about all these things while eating normally. And this is after he created some kind of weird dish, it looks like. It looks like bananas and fish inside of it. It's like some kind of weird cream. I finally did it! And uh, uh, a rain, uh, it's raining outside. He's walking with a, a basket and his uh, backpack kind of thing. My lord, are you sure to wish you wish to go there alone? The medical ward is located quite a distance from here, on the outskirts of the castle grounds. And in this weather, I'm going! Don't follow me. Not a word to my father either. Ugh, he slips and falls. A big storm's coming. Retreat to your homes. And he's just walking, walking through the kingdom. There's a dog chained up. Grrr. And then he's like, you can't have this food. And the dog attacks him. Bark, bark. Ah! He's still walking through the kingdom. Uh, he finally gets to the hospital. The, there's like a nurse looking through the window. She's like, ah, it's like, Lord Sanji, have you, have you come all the way here alone? That's awfully sweet of you, but the queen can barely keep anything down, so we must be selective about what she eats. 
But hey, if this is appetizing enough, then at the very least she eats it and death comes out of her mouth. Ah, he's like, wow! Coming all this way just to see me, oh Sanji. You'll get a stern talking to from your father again if he finds out. Hmm. So here he is with his mother, uh, who's on her deathbed is what it seems. She's got IVs hooked up to it. Huge room. Don't tell me, did you pre prepare this dish for me? He's like, yeah. Epony! Yes, ma'am. You no longer need waste your time and efforts preparing these meals. I will simply dine on whatever it is that Sanji has made for me. Uh, well, what he made had gotten rather scrambled during his journey here, so we had no choice but to dispose of it in the trash. She's like, how lovely. Egg rolls, fish, and some bananas it looks like. He's like, I I'm sorry, mother, I messed up. I had a little incident on the way here and dropped it. Then it got crushed, and it's wet from the rain, too. And, w well, let's see. She eats it. Mmm, this tastes great. And uh, Epony is like, ah! He's like, really? Huh? While she ate the whole thing. Will you make something for me again? And there's her... There's her grave with, uh, like, a very regal-looking cross and a crown on it with a lot of flowers. And he's still just eating away. He's chopping his bread into three pieces. And the guard is like, a cookbook and some cooking utensils. Uh... Because uh, apparently Sanji asked for some co a cookbook and some cooking utensils because he's remembering his late mom. Um, and there he is cooking away, looking at the books. The all blue? So he's reading that in the book. Hey, look, it's really, it's him. Man, you're right. And he's like, huh? Oh, damn, the kids. So you didn't really kick the bucket for father to go through that entire charade. Well, duh, it's because he wished the lie were true. Then maybe we can bring Father True happiness by making sure you really die. So one of them's got the key, and he's like, ugh. So they get inside, and they kick the shit out of him. You're a freaking total failure. And uh, the sister, as always, is just standing outside in the hallway. Just to clarify, I'm not on your side, okay? So she's like, hmm, I don't want to end up as their next target. Those three may have turned out to be the ultimate warriors Father dreamed of, but they're utterly incapable of feeling emotions like empathy or sympathy. The modifications were successful in my body as well. But I'm nothing like them. Just so you know, we're about to climb the red line. Apparently, we're going to be fighting some wars in the East Blue. He's like, huh? And then, boom! Uh, big, so it's like the ship is slanted, apparently, because all of his furniture is slamming against the cage. We will begin our journey towards the East Blue. The ETA will be approximately three weeks from now. So it looks like the German Kingdom has separated itself, and since they're like these massive snail ships they can actually suction themselves onto the red line and just climb straight up. This is pretty crazy. Uh, damn, so they came back with bats this time. What the hell? Raise you. I... I want to become a chef. She's like, what? You stop blurting out things like that to me. In the East Blue, cannon shooting. It's the German 66. They really do exist. Lord Judge. The Katsians uh, have noticed our presence. Do not let up. Continue the onslaught. Sanji's like, if I run away here and now, in the East Blue, I won't have to see Father's face ever again. Will I? She's crying. She's like, stand back. GD, and she bent the steel bars. What the hell? You won't get a second chance at this. You better not mess it up. Begin the invasion. Defeat Katsuya. They're all shooting these huge guns. Freaking explosions happening at the city. He grabs, uh, Sanji grabs one of the keys, and then somebody shows up and goes, What do we have here? He's like, huh? He turns around. It's Judge. Ah, it's just you, Sanji. I don't recall giving you permission to leave your cell. He's like, huh? I'm leaving this place. No one's stopping me. Not even you. I bet you Sanji gets, like, some crazy power that he uses to defeat this dude. Your stay in the basement seems to have some adverse effects on your manners. You're nothing but a commoner now. There's no way someone of your ilk could ever hope to face and survive the harsh realities of this world. It'd be certain death for you. Sanji's got a knife. Like, I care what you think. Just try and stop me. It's music to my ears, actually. It's, uh, Sanji's crying. No matter how much I wanted it, my humanity just wouldn't allow it. Even as useless as you are, I couldn't bring myself to dispose of you with my own hands. But now this opportunity has presented itself. You wishing to leave here of your own volition. Why on earth would I try to stop you? Feel free to take the key to that iron mask while you're at it. He's like, uh, uh, uh. However, is your father. I do have one last thing I'd like to ask of you, Sanji. It is regarding our fam uh, family ties. Uh, you know, sever it. 
Under no circumstances are you ever to identify yourself as my offspring. You are the sole blemish in my life. The one thing that I am ashamed of. Do I make myself clear? Uh, he's crying. The sister's crying. Everyone's crying except for Judge. Judge is just stone-faced because he's a heartless bastard. What are we doing? <clears throat> what are we going to do about that cruise ship at the port? Cruise ship at the port? What ship is that? Interesting. They're unrelated to our, our mission. Leave them be. So, most likely that is... Um, the Chef Zef. He's got this weird bottle on the front of it. Huge bottle. Pirate ship, most likely. <clears throat> but it doesn't look like it has pirate flags because they're not black flags. Interesting. Um, sister's like, get on that ship, Sanji. Suck it up. Quit bob sobbing like a baby and just do it already. He's still crying. You can never come back to us. Do you hear me? Yeah, the world is really a big place. One day you're definitely going to meet people who will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Go. Don't look back. Don't turn back. He's like, ah. Uh, okay, so here's a picture. Oh, Sanji's all beaten up on the ground. His three brothers are walking away from him. The sister stands and she, it's like, move it or lose it. Well, well, Miss Reju, we should probably tend to Lord Sanji's injuries. What part of move it or lose it don't you understand? It's like, ugh. Is that really the face of a man about to go see his fiance? It's just some restaurant owner you used to work with. Why do you care so much? You must have known what would happen if you came back here. I know you have very few pleasant memories about this place, Sanji. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, all right, let me uh make this a little bit bigger because this is a huge double-page panel. The Seducing Woods. Eleven hours since the be beginning of the battle between Luffy and Cracker. Please, please. Luffy's like all big... Uh, He's like a big rubber rubber guy. He's like, good, good. He's like, I'm full, damn it. What the hell? Nobody told you to start eating them. <laughs> He's been eating the crackers this entire time because all the cracker army is on the ground. <laughs> He's like, I'm not passing on free, but he's like, nobody told you to start eating them. And Luffy's like, I'm not passing on free biscuits, damn it. <laughs> freaking <laughs> Cracker's like super tired he's like how dare you devour my biscuit soldiers fight run eat repeat I'm getting sick and tired of this strategy of yours <laughs> this is utterly ridiculous uh, the big uh, tree motherfucker is like master Cracker <laughs> Nami's like I thought he was exaggerating when he said he could produce an infinite amount of biscuits but so if he's like doesn't matter because his stamina definitely isn't infinite and he's like, look who's talking. Go on, keep on stuffing your face with them. I look forward to watching you explode and die. Maybe then your little friend will finally realize how futile all this is. Luffy's like, well, bring it then. I can eat whatever you have to dish out. It's going to take a hell of a lot more than this to stop me from seeing Sanji. Eat him up. Chapter 841, end. Uh, that is the most ridiculous, ridiculous um ending that there is to a chapter so far so literally all of the biscuit soldiers have been eaten there's just pieces of them left um apparently cracker can make like a road um kind of like uh ice man does with his ice uh, roads that he can create those little pathways except these are a lot bigger they're very wide and uh they're made up different biscuits all together and there's a, a bunch of bite marks through them uh and also the ground looks like it's made of this is the same kind of biscuits what they're currently standing on. Uh, excuse me. That is uh, pretty flippin' funny. Uh, I really like that. So, we obviously got to the point where uh, the flashbacks have ended. Um, we now know how Sanji got to East Blue in the first place. Um, we also know that the sister is a lot more uh, empathetic than we thought and uh we do have to see if she's changed though throughout the years and uh, we also know how terrible the brothers are and judge and that sanchi has every right to look for revenge and also what happened to the mother did she just oh she she died uh, of sickness obviously uh, from what we can assume is sickness but good chapter all the way around uh really enjoyed it um let me know what you guys think, what you think is going to happen next. Because uh, this fight, I mean, the, Luffy's been fighting that commander for 11 hours, which is insane. And it's even insane that Oroje was able to defeat one of them and then was 
you know, forced to retreat by Cracker himself. Though, whether he had to fight him back to back, we don't know. If he had to fight him one on one, we don't know that either. But uh, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, following all that good stuff. As always, uh, this is Periodic Science. See ya.